Fidel kind of putting it together, but uh, I know I got, at least I know I got Miami today. Uh, I want to say Washington, and I can't remember the other one. You have to check the schedule. Who have you had your workouts with so far? I haven't had any workouts yet. So this is my you know, first thing. Um, I'm sure, I think I have a couple workouts next week. Though. What about nerves when you're out there and you see all these NBA legends? Clipboards. Yeah. Um, you no. Know, when even when you step into the meetings, you know you see all those guys and they're, you know, got players that you recognize from. You know, just watching even when you're younger, and uh, see all those guys shaking their hand and getting to talk to them, and then you know go out there on the court. You know, you're seeing guys like Larry Bird out there. You know, just watching you. Um, you know, nerves start to get to you a little bit at the beginning, but once you're out there and, you know, out shooting and just running up and down the court, you kind of just forget who's out there. You're not tempted to look over your shoulder like, who's that checking me out right now? No, I think once you're in the flow, I just think it's, you know, that's what you're kind of focusing on. So. Each one said yesterday he could have made a lot of money if he would have got autographs from all those guys. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> he just would have been a rich guy. Yeah, there's Sound so many people out there, so... You know, I think that's you know part of this process and <laughs> being in Chicago. Really. When you uh, think about yourself in the NBA, you know, uh, defensive player of the year, uh, do you see that? You, do you see yourself kind of making a niche on on the defensive end of the floor, or, or where do you think you can have the biggest impact? Um, I definitely think I can make an impact defensively, um, especially being a rookie. You know, I was saying yesterday they're not going to be you know drawing up a lot of plays for you for your first few years, so um, you're going to have to make your mark you know other places, and that's you know running the floor, defending, rebounding, you know stuff like that. So uh, I think that's going to be the biggest thing for me. You, you talked about potentially playing the three. Um, how do you feel like you know what speed? Foot speed wide, just going to be able to match up with uh, LeBron's and Kevin Durant's and things like that. I think you know I'm fine you know, foot speed. Um, I think you know the biggest thing is just me working on my ball handling and you know continue to work on my you know foot speed and things like that. But uh, eventually, you know, I want to be there. I know it's definitely it's still a work in progress, but um, something that I definitely want to work towards. How about the five? Is that something that you could see yourself playing? Yeah, I can see myself playing the five too. Um, like I said, it just really just depends on working on my body and just getting bigger and stronger. And uh, you know, I've had experience, you know, playing the five, so I be it wouldn't be anything foreign to me. So, but I think four is probably right now, um, you know, the best thing for me. Do you think How much you can weight? defend for centers, the big dudes? I think so. Um, I'm definitely, I would definitely give my best shot. You know, <laughs> um, you know, I think you know, just continue to working on my body. I think. You know, I don't think I have a problem. Two more questions. What would you like to get your weight up to, do you think, where you could not be slowed down but still be effective? About 235, 240. Like, when it's all said and done, that's kind of where I want to go. Because you see a guy like LeBron walk by, and he looks like a linebacker. Yeah. <laughs> Weight-wise and muscular-wise. Mm -hmm. Even the guards are big. You know, so. Yeah, so um, to be able to play the way I want to and just not worry about people saying, you know, he needs to, you know, pick up weight, you know, all that kind of stuff. I think, you know, 240 would be, you know, fine. Four years in college, how well has that prepared you to, to make this transition? I think it's huge, um, just from a maturity standpoint. Um, I've seen a lot of different offenses and defenses playing against all that type of stuff. So, um, I think I'm prepared, you know, for season for, you know, stuff like this, even talking media and, uh, you know, the, all the stuff that comes with it. So I think uh, I'm ready for it. Do you think the, the big time program that you played in has helped you prepare as much for the stuff on the court as well as stuff off the court? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, just, you know, just dealing with different situations like meetings and, you know, being on time and just a structured program that I came from, at, you know, at Purdue. Um, I definitely think just small things like that are going to definitely carry over, you know, to the NBA.